the original owner of WISP was is Helmuth Heiss. He actually had a couple of partners back in the very beginning, but he and his wife Evelyn owned a motel along Route 219 that's now known as Will of the Wisp. In those days, it was just a little motel, little cabins. And he told me that the impetus behind his desire to create this ski area was in February of one year, and this would have been in the early 50s, his total receipts from the motel and cabins were something like $12 or $20 maybe, not very much. And he said, this is not working. We got to figure something out. And so he was a creative kind of guy and they managed to lease some land where Wisp is now located from the Brenneman family. And he brought a rope tow from New Hampshire. He went to a ski area in New Hampshire, bought a rope tow, and within a year or so they had a little bit of an area to ski on. They reminisced that their early snowmaking was kind of like having water hoses spray water in the air. Uh, it wasn't at all, you know, what it is now, but he kept working at it and then as they expanded in the area that's now called Squirrel Cage, there was a pommel lift and a pommel lift is this little disc that you put between your legs and it pulls you by the seat of your pants up the hill and I, I skied with the pommel lift a lot. I learned to ski here in the mid 60s but well, he kept expanding from there. The snowmaking he kept studying, he had a, a, a great guy working with him, Bob Yast who was really interested in that and local fellows from Beitzel Corporation also worked with them and they ended up having a patent on a couple of different types of valves and things that's used for snowmaking. So over the years, WISP has developed snowmaking to a fine art. And during the time that I was involved with ownership and operations at WISP, we added a lot more automated equipment and so forth. And the result of that was that people were visiting here from all over the world. I mean, they were coming from China, from Russia, from wherever they've had Olympics, you know, since then. When they were learning about snowmaking, they were coming here to see what WISP was doing because they really have a phenomenal snowmaking system here. And it's impossible to have a ski area if you don't have white on the ground.